Hey, hey, doing? It's Emilio here. Now, for a very long time, I was a bit confused about the difference differences in IT management because there's lots of different IT manager types. There was infrastructure managers. There was IT operations managers. There was development managers, IT business partners. There was also service delivery managers. It's like, what's the deal with all of these managers? There are just so many different types of managers and it was really confusing. And maybe you're a little bit confused and you just want some clarification. We're gonna be defining specifically IT manager and service delivery manager. What are the differences? What are the similarities? Maybe you're looking at becoming one of these two and hopefully by the end of this video, if you stick to the end, you'll have a little bit more of an understanding around the two and maybe which role you may be good at because they're slightly different. So I'm gonna give you my experience. Now I have been both an IT manager and a service delivery manager. You can be good at both, but they have different sort of angles of what they manage. So we're gonna talk about that. As I said, my name is Emilio. I run this tech YouTube channel. And if you like technology like I do, down below, you need to click on that subscription button, click on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. And also in the description note of this video, I've got links to a whole bunch of technology training courses. If you wanna know more about tech and become an expert in technology, including how to become a great manager, I've got heaps of courses so you can go and look at those down below. All right, let's first uh, define each of the two. We'll talk about the similarities of each of the two and then whether you should be going for one or the other which ones are a little bit more in demand than others. Let's first define the IT manager. Now the IT manager role itself is very, very diverse, right? And there's lots of different sorts of IT managers wearing different hats and different responsibilities. And the IT manager is also gonna be really, like the actual role, what they do, is gonna be very, very dependent on the type of company that they work for, the size of the company, would probably be the biggest indicator here. A small company, let's say under 100 people, they're probably gonna have an IT manager that is responsible for everything. While a bigger company is gonna have maybe a team of people who are managers, IT managers of some sort, but all have their own defined role and their own defined responsibility. So what do I mean by this? Well, in a larger company, you may actually have what's called an IT service desk manager or an IT operations manager or an IT infrastructure manager or an IT development manager or an IT security manager. They're all different sorts of managers, right? The service desk managers are making sure that the service desk is maintained, supporting staff, right? Tickets are being logged and there's SLAs and they may manage a team of help desk and service desk people and they need to make sure that staff are supported, that they can unlock their passwords, they can set up new staff as they come into an organization, Active Directory, uh, they may have to have some involvement around installing applications and providing some basic help desk support over the phone, over Teams, over Zoom, whatever it is, right? Then the operations manager is sort of similar, but they're now involved with day-to-day -day operations. And they may actually now get involved with making sure that all of the desktop, the laptop fleet is supported correctly. So they may be supporting and managing like desktop analysts, technicians, support analysts, things of that nature, right? And these operations managers may also get involved in some of the backend infrastructure services, like your servers and your networking. And then closely associated with operations managers, you then got the infrastructure managers. And these people are going to be more specialized and focused on making sure that the infrastructure is maintained. The service desk manager may not even touch the backend infrastructure. They're just responsible for making sure that staff are supported, staff are helped. The infrastructure manager, now they're responsible for all of the servers, the networking, the, maybe the security side of things, the storage, the SAN, the NAS devices. They're responsible for cloud tech. They're responsible for tech that is on-premise, like stuff that's inside of the office or in a data center, data center management, all of those sort of things. Making sure that things are healthy, making sure that things are maintained, things are patched, things are upgraded, right? All of that is the role of an infrastructure manager. Then you've got the security manager. They're security focused. Then you've got development managers that are focused now on the development of stuff, applications, web, all of that from a tech perspective. And then, yes, there is other tech roles out there. So if you group all of these things together and somebody has good experience across all of these, you could categorize them as a IT manager. All of them actually are IT managers just with a different 
bent, a different focus point, yeah? In a smaller company, well, you can't have a service desk manager, an operations manager, an infrastructure manager. It's just not gonna happen. So a smaller company may just employ an IT manager. You are the IT manager. You're responsible for all of the stuff of that. Or maybe even in a larger company that's maybe split across different states or different countries, may have an IT manager for different regions or different areas of focus. But the IT manager now is responsible for all of that. And they are generally a manager within a, uh, within a business. They're providing the service of management of IT, setting the strategy, managing the budgets, and managing all day-to-day -day operations, infrastructure, security, all of that within a business, right? So they are the face of the business. They're employed by the business. That's sort of where an IT manager would sit. Now let's contrast this to a service delivery manager. What they do is in the name. They're providing a service. They're delivering a service, service delivery. This is now an external role. Remember the IT manager is somebody who's inside of a company. Let's say company A has an IT team, right? The IT manager may be responsible for a team, may be responsible for day-to-day -day operations of IT. They're within a company. The service delivery manager is outside of that company. Maybe they work for a managed services provider or an MSP. They could work for a company that are like an IT consultancy business. They're now providing a service out to one or many businesses. Maybe company A doesn't have an IT manager. And you see this a little bit. Company A does not have an IT manager. They may have some IT people, or they maybe don't have any IT whatsoever, but then company A says, hey, we still need to support IT, right? We've got systems, they need to be fixed, they need to be supported. They go and look for a company that can provide IT support to the business. So they're gonna go, hey, you, MSP, managed service provider, I need you to come and support and manage my IT systems. So they work out a deal behind the scenes, so rather than company A going and hiring a full IT team, their IT is now outsourced. If you've ever heard the term outsourcing, this is what we're talking about. Their IT services are now outsourced. So the MSP does a deal and then they provide IT people to go and support that business. Those IT people need to be managed generally by a service delivery manager. So it's almost like they're an IT manager, but from an external lens perspective. They're now externally outside of the business, outside of company A, and they're now providing a service, maybe in an MSP, providing services to that company A. And they are ultimately, they're the IT manager but from a outsourced perspective. And it's not uncommon for a service delivery manager to sometimes be a little bit more focused because you could have a service delivery manager that is just focused on delivering of a service of just infrastructure or delivering a service of just service desk or just security as well. Or you could have an IT or a service delivery manager that just manages the whole lot. It's also common that you've got a pool of service delivery managers within a MSP, a managed services provider, and they're now providing IT management responsibility to lots of companies. So prior to that, you've got an IT manager, all they're responsible for is the IT management of one business, the business that they're employed in. They're a staff member, yeah, within this one business. The service delivery manager though, a lot more than that. I mean, depends on the size of, the, of, their, of their client, of the business that they are supporting. They may be responsible for that one business only, but they may be responsible for a lot more businesses. So when I was an IT manager, I was just managing the IT of one business. And then I moved to another business and I was doing the same thing. Then when I was a service delivery manager, I was doing that, but for a lot of companies. At one point, I was managing six businesses. So I was the face of IT, the IT manager essentially for six different companies. Different companies, they were small and medium sized businesses. And now I'm responsible, I'm the person those companies are looking for. They will be calling me when there are IT issues a foot when there are IT problems in their environment. So it was my responsibility as a service delivery manager to go and set up a team of IT professionals to go and manage the IT of those businesses, right? And the same deal because you're working in an MSP, an MS, a managed services provider, you've also got IT techs, you've got systems administrators, network engineers, you've got security architects. They are also outsourced 
and they are providing services to maybe one or a lot of different sorts of businesses. So as a service delivery manager, you're managing a team in one company, but you're also managing maybe a second team in another company and another lot of team members in another company. So there's a lot more responsibility here from a service delivery manager because you're now not looking after just one client, you may be looking after lots of clients. And also because you are the external IT person, there's a little bit more pressure on you because they're paying you externally. So it's like the customer is always right, sort of thinking, right? While if you are an IT manager within a business, you're part of the team, right? You're a staff member, you're in it with them together. While the MS, while the um, the service delivery manager from an MSP perspective is sometimes seen a little bit of an external, they're seen as an external entity. They're outside of that. Now to be a really good service delivery manager, you also have to be very, very good at time management. You need to be good at communication. Think about this. If you're now looking after lots of different sorts of companies, multiple companies, you can get lost. Your email can get flooded with queries from lots of different clients. So you need to understand which one's for which? Organizing scheduling, managing projects, right? You're gonna to have to be establishing uh, team members for certain projects, for certain, de certain deliverables. So if you're not good at time management, it may be very, very hard. And then you've got the communication piece. So from a communication piece perspective, it's also good for you to be a good communicator because you're gonna be dealing with lots of people in lots of different companies now, senior people, right? So being able to speak well, being able to speak and negotiate with senior people is also gonna make you an effective leader in the service delivery space. Now, both the IT manager and the service delivery manager are similar that they're both gonna be doing vendor management. They're both gonna be writing up contracts, but then you've also got the SDM, the service delivery manager, is also gonna be sometimes responsible for drafting up managed services agreements. So agreements that establish the communication and the, the relationship between you and a business. They're gonna be involved in RFPs, RFQs, to go out, requests for proposals, requests for quotes. And if you've ever worked at an MSP, MSPs can get very, very busy, but at the same time, you learn a lot and you can learn a lot quite quickly. So which one should you be? Well, I mean, if you're already in IT management, you can probably switch over to a service delivery manager and you're sort of doing the same thing. All the skills that you've got as an IT manager, you will be using them as a service delivery manager. The only main difference though, is that now you're a lot more client focused. You're a lot more Focus on speaking, good communication, good written skills, good negotiating skills. You're gonna to need to have a lot of that to be a very, very good service delivery manager and very, very good at time management and keeping track of things. You're gonna be managing lots of tasks at the same time, lots of clients, but definitely the roles are interchangeable. Let us know if you are one of these roles, if you wanna become a service delivery manager or a IT manager. If you've got different experience to what I had, down below, let us know in the comments. And also click on that subscription button, click on the bell. We'll see you on the next video.